Hello everybody, Gamer here, and welcome to a special part of The Walking Dead Season 1. So, what am I doing in Season 1? Well, I already know that, thank you. Um, what I'm actually doing is that I'm going to be showing the choices that, uh, how can I show the choices? Uh, okay, so in this video I'm going to be showing the choices that I made in Season 1, and the reason why I'm not doing a Let's Play of Season 1 is because I pretty much did this game myself, and the thing is, I can't get myself invested in a Let's Play like this, like a Telltale Let's Play where the choices can equal your consequences and all that. Like, I want every depressing moment in this game to hit me hard, and that's what I'm doing with Season 2 when I'm actually playing Season 2, so... Yeah, as of now when I'm recording this, I've already recorded the first two episodes, so after I do this video, I'm going to be recording episode three of season two. So, um, yeah, if you haven't played or seen season one, click off of this video right now. Click off of this video right now and uh, don't bother watching this video. I strongly recommend you guys to watch or play this yourself. Definitely recommend to play yourself. This is definitely a game worth getting. You can get it for the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and PC. I'm not sure about Mac and Linux, but um, it, when it comes to computers, j just hope you have a strong operating system to run them. I'm playing this on the uh, PlayStation 4. Alright, so anybody who doesn't want any spoilers gone? All of you gone? Anybody who has seen Season 1 or watched Season 1 still remains? Okay, well let's look at the stats for A New Day. So A New Day, honesty. Did I lie to Herschel? So the minority lied, and I believe um, what, what that's referring to, if I remember, is that um, um, Lee, which is our character in Season 1, uh, he was on his way to prison, and I think we actually lied about... Um, uh, why we were there or whatever or I, I forgot what we lied about um, to be honest, but um, Yeah, pretty much lied to Herschel All right, and um, did you choose to save duck or Sean now the thing is I don't know why I actually chose Sean over duck But the thing is is that it doesn't matter who you go with if you Save duck duck is saved Sean dies if you try to save Sean Sean still dies and Doug ends up being saved by Kenny. So yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't know why I chose Sean in the moment. Maybe it's because I was just in the quick moment to try to save somebody. And I guess Sean would seem to be in the more um, bad position of dying at the moment. Like maybe that's why I chose him in an instant. But I don't know. That was definitely one decision I kind of regret. But at the same time, Herschel... It doesn't matter. Herschel will still be angry at you because you didn't save his son, even though you just did still try to. And loyalty. Side with Kenny? Hell yeah, I defended Kenny. Why the hell would I go on Larry's side? I mean, fuck that asshole. And then Mercy. So gave Aureen the gun. So she was the uh, Christian woman that was on suicide. Like, she, she was pretty much wanting to commit suicide, blow her brains out, because she didn't want to turn into one of those things because she was bitten. And yeah, of course, I'm in the majority that refused to give her the gun, but it doesn't matter if you refuse or give her the gun or anything, she still ends up killing herself. And who did you choose to save? This is interesting, because I know the majority go for Carly, even though, as of now, that says 51% chose Doug. Now, the thing is, I actually did pick Carly first, but the timer ran out, and I was like, ah, oh, shit. And then I was thinking to myself, wait, the only reason I'm picking Carly is because she's female, and she has a gun. I know I got to know, know Carly more than Doug, but you know what? Carly should be able to take her care of herself. I'm going to save Doug, but by doing so, Carly dies, and it's Doug who I end up with um, for, uh, I think, up to season, uh, not season, episode three. So, yeah, I chose to save Doug, mostly because um, he he was just more fragile than Carly. I wish I saved Carly and all that. I've seen a Let's Play where Carly is saved, and I think it would be much more interesting when you save her over Doug, but it doesn't matter. It sucks that both of them have to die. So those were my choices in episode 1. In episode 2, Star for Help. So, Survivor. Did I chop off David's leg? So, the minority cut off his leg. So, yeah. 
that was when uh, David, um, uh, the, wanted the college student with Ben, uh, got his uh, foot trapped in a bear trap. And yeah, I chose to cut off his leg. The other guy dies, and yeah, David unfortunately ends up turning. But yeah, I chose to cut off um, David's leg to try to save him, which unfortunately doesn't work. Interrogation. Shot Jolie. So Jolie was that crazy woman um, who was saying, I'm going to hang your testicles up on that tree right over there. And um, yeah, the minority shot her. And that doesn't surprise me, but I shot her because I thought she was going to be a threat. So, yeah. And apparently the other option is that the other guy who was with you would actually shoot her instead. But he's actually one of the bad guys. So, yeah. I shot her. That's definitely one decision I do regret. But, eh, that's what happens in a zombie apocalypse. Um, Pragmatism or whatever. Help kill Larry. This is actually one choice I kind of regret. It's kind of no surprise that it's half and half here. But the reason why I chose to help Kenny over uh, Lily to save Larry is because I wanted to help Kenny get back to his son. That was on my mindset and that was why I chose Kenny. But when I chose Kenny, I didn't mean for Lee to literally hold her back, have her panic as um, Kenny pretty much smashes Larry's head with a salt lake brick. I mean, shit. Holy fuck. And I have to teach Clementine that that's okay? Yeah, that's. I will definitely say if I were to be in that situation again, I would probably choose to help Lily and try to save Larry. And yeah, even if you try to save Larry, uh, Kenny will still uh, destroy Larry's head with a salt lip brick. And totally sucks. The guy's an asshole. He's not going to get ahead in life. But you know what? Um, what's done is done. And revenge. Kill both of the St. John brothers and the majority didn't. I actually did kill one and that was the guy in the barn. And that was one decision I did regret because Clementine saw me kill that guy. And yeah, the, um, the mother, we had no choice. She was going to die anyway. But when I got to the last brother, I actually chose to just leave him alive as we walked away and let the walkers take care of him. And survival. Stole food from the car. And I'm in the majority that stole food from the car. And, um, yeah. Apparently the difference with that is that if you steal the food from the car, Clementine will actually have a red hoodie throughout the entire game. But if you don't, then she'll remain with her clothes that she started off back when you first met her in episode one. But yeah, I pretty much stole the food because our group needed to survive. We were starving and... We pretty much had a fake out opportunity to have food and end up eating human flesh. Which thankfully I told Clementine to spit out. Just, ugh. Yeah. So those were the choices in episode 2, Starve for Help. And probably the most depressing episode, Long Road Ahead. And why is Duck there? Duck should be dead. So yeah, Duck does die. That kid character does die. I pretty much already revealed it in Season 2, and if you're watching this and you got spoiled that he was... Uh, if you're getting spoiled with all this, shame on you. You should have been playing the game or watching a Let's Play of it, particularly playing the game. Alright, so, um, Sweet Merciful Death. Did you shoot the girl in the street? And, um, the majority didn't shoot her, and the thing is, is that... Yeah... In many ways, I should have shot her, but the thing is, she was going to die anyway. But she was the perfect distracting, distraction for both Kenny and I to um, go into the uh, pharmacy and take any supplies that we need. So, yeah. It was a really, really hard decision, but in the end, um, I pretty much um, had the walkers take her life just so we can get more pharmaceutical supplies. And yeah, left Lily behind. I did not leave her. Now the thing is, what I find interesting is I was watching another Let's Play of it and it was the one where Carly lives and apparently she intentionally shoots Carly in the face. Fuck. Intentionally. Brutally. But the thing is, is that I saved Doug and apparently when she shoots Doug, it was by accident. So yeah, apparently Lily shooting either Doug or, or Carly can either be done brutally or by accident. And she did it by accident. And the reason why I didn't leave her behind is because I pretty much wanted her to suffer. I mean, 
the thing is, is that if I left her behind, she'd be out of our group. But if I kept her with us, then that'd uh, give potential for more character development, as well as trying to get to know her more, or trying to reform her in some way. But in the end, she takes the RV, drives away, whatever, and yeah. Uh, did you fight Kenny? And the minority talked him down. Are you serious? So that was when Duck was dying. Kachia was insisting Lee to uh, tell Kenny to stop the train. And yeah, the majority of them actually got um, got um, Lee to punch Kenny in the back of the head, apparently. I didn't do that. I am Kenny's friend, and I wanted to um, cope with him, help him come into terms that he's losing his son and that both his son and his wife need him and yeah I had to say words in order to convince him that Duck was gonna die so yeah and um, did you shoot Duck and the majority shot Duck so yeah a heavy burden a heavy burden indeed so yeah Katya commits suicide before they could put down Duck and uh, Heard Kenny crying in the woods, I run for him, and then, yeah, I chose to shoot Duck so that way he wouldn't do it himself. And, yeah, he should have no reason to do it himself. I mean, that's just cold. And a helping hand. Did you help Omid? Um, the minority of us did not help Omid, and I guess it was kind of a sexist thing that I pretty much chose to help Krista over Omid. So, yeah, those were my choices in Episode 3. In episode 4, Around Every Corner, uh, the boy in the attic. Did you kill the boy in the attic? You and the minority, minority, did not kill him. Why didn't I kill him? Because the thing is, I did not want Kenny to shoot his own son. And he shouldn't have to. So I put down his own son, and considering that that boy in the attic looked exactly like Duck... I pretty much wanted Kenny to stand up for himself, be able to, uh, you know, try to get over his son's death. And I thought this would be a perfect opportunity for him to get over that uh, depression, even though he's not going to get over it. But uh, it, an opportunity for him to at least um, do something more than just um, cry while I do all the work. So, yeah, I chose to let Kenny put the, um, the walker boy down. For that reason. Mostly for Kenny's um, uh, mental health and all that. And uh, Hippocratic Oath. Did you lie or threaten Vernon? And uh, the majority were rational and honest. And to be honest, I don't remember what we lied or threatened him about. So, next one. Um, Home Alone. Did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? The minority didn't bring her to Crawford. Now, here's the thing. If you played this game, haven't played it before, I would strongly recommend you to bring Clementine to Crawford, even though it's dangerous, um, mostly because A, adds good, good character development, and it adds a little bit of humanity to the next one, which is For Whom the Bell Tolls. Did you let Ben, ben fall to his death? And the minority pulled him up. And the thing is, I think the majority of people should be bringing Clementine to Crawford and should be saving Ben. And here's the reason why. When you bring Clementine to Crawford, you can actually have conversations with Clementine about school and all that. And how I could possibly be her teacher and all that. And uh, she's like, no homework? No homework. It's just funny. And, um... And the thing is, is that when we were when we were choosing to let uh, Ben stay behind and all that, um, Clementine's like, "Can I have a vote?" And I was like, "Sure, you can." And her vote was pretty much, "Ben is nice, and he is my friend, and we don't leave friends behind." That is my vote. And the thing is, that moment just gave a lot of humanity back to characters, uh, say like um, Krista, including me. Because the thing is, I was considering of leaving Ben behind, but because of Clementine's wise and humane words, I pretty much decided to let Ben not only stay, but I prevented him from dying. And from a character development perspective, I think that was good of me to not let him die in that moment. And the bite revealed. Did you reveal your bite to the group? The majority showed the bite. Now, I didn't show the bite right away. Like, there was an option where it was like, hide the bite or show the bite. I hide the bite at first, but then I had a dialogue option to actually tell them that I've been bitten. And I was like, you know what? They're going to hate me if I don't tell them sooner. So I was like, 
you guys should know something. I've been bitten. So yeah, I did show the bite. Not right away, but I did show the bite. So yeah, the I guess there's really no decision in this one that I actually do regret. I can't really remember what um, Lion or Threatening Vernon, Vernon is or whatever, but um, yeah. So now we get to the final and one of the depressing episodes because Lee dies. No time left. All right, so desperation. Did you remove Lee's arm? The majority, including me, removed his arm. And the thing is, is that I had a hunch that he was going to die. And yeah, even if you remove his arm, he's going to die at the end of the game anyway. But yeah, removed his arm mostly just to try to prevent the affection from spreading. And the thing is, it's practically already spread. And um, Fallout, lost your temper? The majority lost your temper with Kenny. So yeah, I lost my temper with Kenny. I'm sorry, man. I love you, but you gotta grow the fuck up, man. And gave up your weapons. So you and 19% of players surrendered your weapons. I pretty much did that because I felt like I had no choice, pretty much. Stranger, killed Clementine's captor. So you and the minority of players killed the stranger. Now, apparently, if you don't kill the stranger, like I've seen another Let's Play of it, but if you don't kill the stranger, Clementine will shoot him in the head. And I kind of wish that happened, but at the same time, she is young, so I think it was better if I had killed the stranger. So yeah, I ended up killing the stranger, and goodbye. Stop Lee from turning. You and the majority percent of players made sure Lee didn't turn, so I convinced Clementine to put me down. So yeah. Because if she's going to survive in the zombie world, she's going to have to come in terms that she's going to have to put people that uh, she trusts so much down like that. And yeah, I felt it was the right thing to do, not only for her, but for Lee as well. So yeah, we prevented Lee from turning and Clementine uh, put him down to prevent him from turning into a walker. So there you go, guys. Those were the choices that I made in Season 1 of The Walking Dead. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and, um, yeah, I'll be putting this video at the start of the Season 2 playlist, and, yeah, I recorded this after Episode 2 of, um, Season 2 of The Walking Dead, so, um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and, yeah, those were the choices I made in Season 1, so hopefully that'll give you more insight on, um, how that benefits the story in Season 2 of The Walking Dead. So I'll see you guys in Episode 3, or you can go and watch the first part if you haven't already. Goodbye.